What's up guys, Aurel here with Tech, and if you frequently visit our website or our YouTube channel for phone reviews or any tech channel for that matter, you might come across about Antutu Benchmark. During those tests, you might know that a higher score would be generally better. First, a quick refresher on what Antutu is. It's an app for both Android and iOS that runs our phone through various benchmark tests to see how well it performs and is a great tool to compare the relative performance of two or more different phones. This is because it covers four main categories that dictates your phone's overall performance, namely CPU, GPU, memory, and user experience. A higher CPU score is good for almost every case since all your apps use your CPU's power to function. The GPU scores determines how well your phone handles the graphics in 3D heavy applications like games and other GPU accelerated processes. Having a higher memory score determines how fast and snappy your phone feels. And while opening application does use some CPU horsepower, the sequential and random read speeds of your ROM affect how fast your phone can open application and files. The user experience benchmarks test how well the phone performs doing day-to-day -day tasks. And the aggregate of all these categories is what ends up your final score. When comparing Antutu results, it's important to take note of which Antutu version the reviewer used, since the scoring metrics vary from version to version. In the latest version of Antutu V8, the four categories are broken into four different tests to show how well these individual components perform. The CPU score is gauged by how well it handles CPU mathematical operations, CPU common algorithms, and how well it handles multi-threaded workloads. The GPU score is tested by rendering three different scenes, each with a different API. Vulkan for terracotta and coastline scenes, and OpenGL for the refinery scene. The memory score is obtained by testing how well your RAM and internal storage perform in accessing the RAM and RAM I.O. Sequential read and write and random access. Lastly, the user experience category is taken from testing for things like data security, data processing, and image processing. All these individual scores are then added up to make up the score for the entire category, which are then added up to produce the overall score. Now, this is a good point to stop and talk about how we interpret the scores. While seeing a high overall score means good, you might want to take a second to look at the individual category scores to get a clearer picture. For example, if you had two different smartphones, each with roughly the same overall Antutu score of let's say 200,000, that doesn't mean that they are exactly the same in overall performance. Phone A may have a higher CPU score at 100,000 but has a lower score in those three categories. Phone B may have a lower CPU score but may achieve a higher score on all those three categories. But in the end, both phones still have the same overall score at 200,000 while being better at different things. And that wraps it up this video. I hope you learned new things. And if you find this video helpful, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads, and be sure to visit yugatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. This has been Arel, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.